We will join forces with the main army and attack Garrick Mok. It's a fortress built on steep ground. But it's never seen battle. That means we don't know much about it from a military perspective. But if we use all of the power at our disposal, we will capture it. From a purely mathematical standpoint, we most certainly have the power to win. If the battle becomes a clash of beasts with inhuman strength, you will be our only hope. I believe in you. I'm relying on you to lead the Black Eagle Strike Force to victory. I'm so sick of it all. There is so much to be done, yet all I encounter are new problems and pitfalls. Ugh. Sometimes I wish I could spend just one day doing absolutely nothing and gorging myself on sweets. You sound just like Hubert. Am I not allowed a fleeting moment of self-indulgence? But Hubert would never allow it. Indeed. It may not be possible now, but one day we will know the joys of idling. Mark my words. Is that a smirk I spy? Is it so amusing to you, me daydreaming of free time? I see. I'm finally getting an idea of what you think of me. But let's put all that aside for now. There is something I've been meaning to tell you. I'm afraid this might sound a bit... sentimental. However... I want to thank you. Because of you, I feel I can walk my faded path without losing myself. If I were alone, I might have lost perspective and become a harsh leader with a heart of ice. But I'm not alone. With you by my side, I'm somehow free to be not only a leader, but simply Edelgard. True. I am fortunate to be surrounded by many wonderful companions. Nevertheless, you are different from the rest. Until now, no one has been able to surpass me, much less command me. I have always been seen as an untouchable princess or emperor. No one spoke to me as an equal or met my gaze without flinching. It was lonely, terribly lonely. The only person I could rely on as I tried to claw my way out of the darkness was myself. But you, you have been a brilliant light. Somehow you have chased the darkness away. And for that, I will always be grateful. Intriguing. I, I knew nothing of Lady Edelgard's past or of her innermost feeling, but I know now. I persuaded her to tell all. It would have been rude to hound her relentlessly until she revealed herself. Yes, then that's certainly not what I did. <laughs> It is not up to Her Majesty to bring the students to our cause. That task falls to you. Those who have forsaken their homelands to join the Empire will be feeling... vulnerable. You are uniquely able to provide emotional support. Please use that gift to guide others down the path that Lady Edelgard has laid before us. I ask you to do this from the bottom of my heart. Surprised that I'm here, are you? I know a winning side when I see it. I mean, there's no way I'd risk my neck and my people by willfully joining a losing battle. I do. We'll see how this all shakes out. All depends on how we, and you, fight. Regardless of who comes after us, even if it's the Knights, we've got you on our side, so it'll all be fine. With the Empire taking over Garrick Mach, I wonder what will happen to Abyss. Some people have spent their whole lives there. For their sake, I hope Abyss doesn't get trampled into ruin. Thanks. You should try talking about it with Eddie. I mean, Her Majesty. She might listen to you. Also, this is less important, but if somebody trashes my room, I'm gonna be mad. What's the deal, pal? You don't want me here? Come on, have a heart. This side is where all the action is. Look, I'll level with you. I want to help that Edelgard gal achieve her goal. I mean it. If Her Majesty gets what she's after, my mother will... <sighs> Forget it. Now's not the time. We've got to keep our heads in the game so we can win, yeah? Having Yuri on our side will help things. He's not someone you want to have as an enemy. The most important nobles in the Empire are known for taking power from the previous Emperor. 
my father included. I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne so easily. However, it seems that both my father and Caspars are supporting Edelgard. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finances. You must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. <sighs> that could have gotten dangerous fast. If I stayed at the monastery, I would have had to fight my father. We aren't especially close, but he's not an opponent I'd want to face. I'd almost rather fight a monster. Anyway, it looks like he's going to be leading the Western units. I wonder if we'll wind up fighting the Kingdom's army, and who decided to fight for the church. <laughs> Black Eagle Strike Force, eh? I like it. It's really a twist of fate that brought me to this side of things. But I'm still proud to be here. Teacher, I asked Edelgard what happened to my father. He was dismissed as Prime Minister and is under house arrest in the Imperial capital. He always was a greedy, arrogant man. Some would say that this is the fate he deserves. And yet I cannot help but feel indignant. After all his hard work for the Empire, to be disgraced like this. I am conflicted, Professor. I do not know what to do. As the next Duke Iyer, should I follow Edelgard into battle? Edelgard became emperor and raised an army, huh? Who knew the kid had it in her? I mean, yeah, of course, I knew she'd be emperor eventually, but the more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. It is. We might have to fight against others from the academy, and that's... I can't think about it. The Empire and Bridget were once warring with each other, but now... I have made the decision to be fighting with the Empire. It is a choice of irony, I feel. But I am having no regret. My belief is with you, and with Edelgard. Oh, I don't even get my own room here! At least I had that at home. But speaking of home, Hubert told me something. He said my father was stripped of his title. I guess he did as he pleased and opposed Edelgard. Wait. Does that mean my father's going to be home all the time now? On second thought, I think I'm fine right here. Okay, I came this far mostly on impulse. But I wonder if it was the right choice. Everything will be okay, right, Professor? I'm not wrong, am I? If I know that you think it's okay, I feel like it will be easier to believe in myself. Imagine making half the world your enemy for the sake of realizing your own ideal. Edelgard is so radiant and strong compared to someone like me. What if I have the power to change the world too? Even just a little bit. Yes, um, Professor? I'm okay with fighting whoever we need to, but I really don't want to battle my father. Oh, but I know that something is wrong with the church. And more than that, I believe in you, and I trust your word. You lead, and I'll follow. Yep. Yes. I've been preparing to take this path. My own path. Not my old man's, and not the boar's. Hey there. Professor. So, you've turned against the church to ally with the Empire too, huh? I've never pressed him for details, but Captain Gerald was always suspicious of Lady Rhea, wasn't he? I'm on your side no matter what. I promised him I'd support you, and that's what I plan to do. Professor, if the church is behind the current state of things, this society in which only crests are valued, then I have no need of it. Edelgard is taking the shortest path to change. No matter how drastic her measures, I agree that this is the only way. That said, if Edelgard strays from her noble path, I trust you will set her straight again. Won't you? I am counting on you, Professor. No need to worry about me. I got no complaints as long as my little sis is safe. Sure, I lived on Alliance land, but that doesn't mean I serve their lords. I'm sure this is the right path, seeing as you're the one who picked it, Professor. To think things would come to this. Even a few months ago, I never could have imagined it. I believe in you, Professor, so I'm stealing myself. I can't promise that I'll be useful in battle, but I'm not running away from the fight. Yes. I have heard the name Lord Vestra mentioned among the Purge noble families of the Empire. He's Hubert's father, 
but Hubert seems rather unconcerned about it. That alone is why we soldiers find Hubert quite frightening. Yes, to be frank, I'm not sure whether I should believe all that Edelgard says, but if her words are true, I think it's best to be her ally. So I'll fight. I'm not at ease with that decision just yet, but I'll stick by it. I've gone and done it now, huh? What would my old man say if he knew I'd sided with the Empire? His Highness must be angry. Dimitri gets super scary when he's like that. I wonder how I'm going to die. Ugh. My knees turned to jelly just thinking about it. No, I, I can't think that way. I promise to fight alongside you. I'm here until the end. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm terrified, but I feel so calm. Hmm. Okay. I can't bring myself to trust the Church of Saros. Not after they killed Lenato and my brother. I need to know the truth. Even if it means... Turning my weapon on Fargus. <sighs> I guess Lenato would be happy to hear me say that. If he were still around. Ah, yes, I'm Randolph von Burglis. I'm not very high in the ranks yet, but I'm more or less a general. Just like Kaspar, I'm from House Burglis. My mother married into House Burglis after I was born, so my position within the family is rather lowly. But I'm determined to make something of myself in this battle to bring glory to my part of the family for the sake of my mother and sister. I believe that this is the first time we have met. My name is Ladislava. I have the great honor of leading Lady Edelgard's personal guard. Her majesty is as hard on others as she is on herself. She may seem composed, but that is only because she conceals her more passionate emotions. For that reason, she is often misunderstood. But now she has you by her side. I find that most reassuring. I look forward to working with you. Hmm. I've decided to ally myself with Lady Edelgard. Father will doubtless understand my reasoning. House Gloucester has always had good intentions in its dealings with the Empire. Of course, this does mean I will no longer be able to avoid a confrontation with Claude. It is unfortunate. We were classmates after all. Surely this is what the goddess willed, isn't it? I feel she would not have wanted the Church of Saros to become what it has. Right, I'm a soldier. But I had to think long and hard about this one. Since birth, I've believed in the teachings of Saros without ever questioning them. But Her Majesty's words are true. To think that the Archbishop can take on such a monstrous form. I may return to Galatea territory, and try to convince my father to join our cause. It's possible that... <sighs> no. In my heart, I know that my father won't listen. Still, I must get him to see reason. That this is the only way to ensure our family's future. Welcome! This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. Please come again. What do you require? Do you want to hire the duke? Do you want to hire? Do you want to hire? Farewell. Hey there. This it? There you go. Come back anytime. Welcome. Will this one do? Many thanks. 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 Come back soon.
We will soon arrive at Garig Mok Monastery. Forcing a surrender here is extremely significant, both strategically and symbolically. Of course, this is personal as well. This is where we all came together to learn and grow. I have no intention of yielding to our former classmates, so I ask that you prepare yourselves for anything. I'm not thinking about friends right now, and I'm certainly not prepared. Damn it! don't go around saying things that lower morale before we even get started. I'm ready! Let's go! Let's fight! I have nothing to lose aside from my friends who are here with me. Does that answer satisfy you? I have been ready for this since leaving my land of home. I will fight and win! How can you prepare to fight? Maybe I can... prepare to prepare. There is no reason that I should not be prepared. It is my duty to stand up and battle. Thank you all. Now. Let's talk strategy. As the raiding force, we will attack the area nearest to the monastery. The Knights of Saros certainly won't stand down after they catch sight of Her Majesty and the Professor. At the same time, the remaining areas will be surrounded and annihilated by the main army. In other words, we are the decoy that must suppress the enemy's most elite soldier. We know more about the area near the monastery than anyone else in the Imperial Army. Still, we must prepare for the worst. It's possible we will have to face the Archbishop's true form, the Immaculate One. Fight with all you have, but don't be reckless. As promised, I will leave the command to our professor. Not only will we all survive this, but we will undoubtedly emerge victorious. This will be our first battle as the Black Eagle Strike Force. All the more reason to prevail.
friends, our opportunity for victory will come. But first, we must see to our defenses. The city's defenders are trying to stall for time. We must crush them swiftly. We should be wary of ambushes as well. Vladislava is being pushed on the left flank. We must push back with equal force. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Oh no. Thing. Just what we need. I knew Her Majesty's allies would help us out. That's my cue. Stay focused. Put me in there. I will get the victory. Ugh. Battle. As you wish. Battle a chance to grow. The glory of progress. The mark of nobility.
Now! Hidden soldiers, attack! makes it past me. Pretty good, don't you think? Sweat was worth. Surprised. Unfortunately, you must die here. You should never have defied the goddess. Child's play! Not enough!
Don't forget who you're dealing with. Now that feels good. through it. If you side with the Empire, if you turn your sword on the Church and on the Kingdom, I care not who you are. I will end you just the same. name. I cannot allow myself to fall here. I must withdraw. You will survive this hardship. Just hold on. Your defeat was inevitable. One step at a time. You'll be repaid. Rigid pride. Flame spirit protect me. You shall not pass. Stay focused. through anything. That's my cue. Back to the fray. Sure thing. Protect Garrick Mock. I must protect F. 
everyone. Retreat while you still can, Flane. I beg you. Understood. Stay safe, uh, brother. We will lend the Empire strength. Don't worry, we're allies now. I understand you must have many questions, but they'll have to wait until after the battle. Show no mercy to anyone who attacks Ray. No. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. This was beneath me. Traitor! I will not forgive you for turning on Rhea! I cannot yield! Seteth, Flame, Gilbert. You put your lives on the line to protect us. I would have preferred to have more time to prepare. But we cannot delay any longer. Come forth! 
Protect Garrick Mach Monastery from those despicable rebels. I'll crush them all. Her enemies are my enemies. Sure thing. As you wish. Looking sharp. I will get the victory. Ferdinand von Eyre. <laughs> Only a fool challenges me. Stay focused. Ugh. That's my cue. It's 
time. Stronger than that? Next, show me more. Strength will serve Lady Edelgard well. I won't go down so easily. Not quite what I was after.
my thanks. Thank you. Gotta kill you! I'll protect Lady Rhea against anyone! I couldn't fight hard enough. I'm sorry. Soon. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Much needed. I am Thunder Catherine, and I will slay all of Lady Rhea's enemies, including you! Trusted you. Lady Rhea trusted you. I won't let you live after what you've done. Yeah! Lady Rhea, I'm sorry. 
Please, stay safe. All is well, Catherine. You must not die here. You should be honored. One more success. No matter your reasons, I cannot permit you to go on living any longer. The feeling is mutual. I must put a stop to your reign of tyranny. You must know what a fool you are. The greatest of sins is to make an enemy of the goddess herself. I have only made an enemy of the church, not of the faith. So you have sullied yourself by joining the rebels? I hope you came prepared to breathe your last! Caution is needed. You betray me, you worthless piece of garbage. I will punish you myself. Stay focused.
Allow Garrick Mock or my mother to fall. You will not be forgiven. Professor, look out. The castle is crumbling. We must escape! Professor, take cover! Professor! In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. After a hard-fought battle, she was forced to retreat to Ferdiad, the capital of Fargus, where she must now plan her next move. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fodlin has begun.